All right, guys. I ended up coming into this building. I do not know exactly what it is or what it was. Probably part of the fort. It looks like it was some kind of residence. Um, it's just very interesting. But these stairs are very interesting to me. I don't, I do not know where they lead. It just ends right here. There's a wall right there. But um, if anyone knows the history behind this building, please do tell. Do tell. It leads out to the ocean right there. And on this side, whole city over here. out and then um, try to go somewhere else I could um, film for you guys I'm trying to find a location right now on my phone I don't have the best internet here so I'm doing my best let me get out the wind so you guys can hear me better Huh, you probably hear me better. These winds are real strong, man. Real strong. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, that's a view of the fort from here. I'm probably gonna come back at night to check out this concert. I, I wonder who's performing. But it looks like it should be fun. All right, y'all. See you soon. So this is another building right across. I'm not sure. Those are sandals. They are massive sandals. <laughs> That's very interesting. That's the biggest thing. Sandals are... <laughs> Yeah, we are walking out right now. We are heading to a place called Isabel de, de um, Torres. It is, I hope I said that right, but it is um, by the uh, mountains. And we are probably going to get on the cable line to take us across and catch some of the views. So... I'll see you guys on that side. I guess this is like a tour bus that comes out here. So, everybody. Finds their own way of getting here. But me, clearly, I like to do it the way the locals do it. You know, when I go places, I like to experience um, what the locals um, experience so me riding those bikes makes me feel right at home you know here go some of the locals hanging out we literally could have walked from there we took the long way <laughs> and we are walking to the street Listen, 
swimming in the ocean is a different thing than swimming in a pool, man. <laughs> Those tides will take you out to sea. You won't survive it, bro. Especially the way that water is rough right now. This is <laughs> the real ocean, bro. This is not like a beach, you know, front where you get in little ways and whatnot, but. Yeah, yeah we, we're going up there to those hills. <laughs> we are going up there right now. <laughs> so. But I'm probably going to try to save some battery. So I will come back when we get over there, guys. So. Probably going to end this video right here. Peace. There's a hospital right there, Waldo Musa. Alright. Alright guys. Talk to you guys in a few. Alright. We got a nice Puerto Plata sign right here. And grandma is taking her photos. So we're not gonna interrupt. around here is chill. I feel safe. And yeah, so far so good. The people have been nice. I did buy some souvenirs from the guys up there. So I did support their business. What is the right here? Um, you guys this bike guys right here they just scammed us right now I mean technically it's our fault for not knowing what time this place closes because we came to get on the cable line over here that was gonna take us up in the mountains but these guys what they did was they brought us over here we paid and then they did not leave because they knew this place was closed so the moment we went in and came out, they were waiting right there because they knew we would need a ride back. And I was like, you know what? Screw you guys, we're walking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy these streets and explore, you know? So, and, and we overpaid to get here too, so. It's kind of annoying because usually I would tip them regardless, but you know, when I, when I feel they're getting greedy, I would just give them what they deserve, basically. But um, other than that, um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed we didn't get to go on there. I was really looking forward to that cable car. But um, it is what it is. I guess you guys can take a nice little view of the hill. I was really, look, you see that right there? Um, that's the, um, I forgot what you call it. The whole thing that looks like Jesus. They have that in Brazil, and they have that here as well. It's all the way up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's right there with his hands spread. Yeah. And that's where we would have been if we had taken a cable car. But... That didn't work out, so I guess we will enjoy the streets of Puerto Plata. Probably, we're hungry now, so we're gonna go find some food. They said they open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., so if you guys are looking to come here to get on that cable car, just know it closes at 5, so. I'm not even sure what time it is right now. What time is it? 5.30. 5.30, okay. So I think we just, we probably just missed the last car. So right now, we are gonna walk the streets and find some food. Now these guys don't wanna do street food. Like I, I eat street food. <laughs> yeah. 
they, those two definitely had Jay, uh, Toby some of the East Street food so they're gonna find us a nice little restaurant I was looking forward to showing you guys the street food as well but since we can't eat street food thanks to these two hello sir <laughs> The dogs actually probably only understand Spanish. Yeah, because <laughs> I'll tell you a story. My my brother actually, he taught my my dog in Nigeria how to understand Igbo. So if you spoke English to him, he won't understand it. Yeah, so. We probably should have came here first before going to the fort. But then again, we may have missed the fort as well. So we, we, we left the house late. But um, lesson learned. Lesson learned. At least we're going down the hill. If we were walking up this hill, I would have been like, listen, bike man, let's go. Let's go, let's go, guys. Yeah. Yeah, man, these streets are active. They are super active. A bike just almost got hit right now, but he was—he had a—he had a passenger, but he was going great. You guys want to go to that? Okay, let's go check out some more restaurants. I like that street right there. Look at those steps. All right. So when we took the bike coming this way, I ran across this street and it was they had a lot of nice places I want to check out. So. Woo. Super hot. It is super hot. Oh man. <laughs> it's like I'm Americano. <laughs> Yeah. Many people are looking at us like they know we're foreigners. Of course they know we're foreigners. What do you, what do you think? Hey, I'm also going to play that radio. I don't got no car. He try, <laughs> he's trying to sell me tires right now. I'm like, you, you see me on my, on my Lexus, <laughs> aka my foot. He's trying to sell me, that was corny, but he's trying to sell me tires and you see me walking. See, they got these stairs that lead down to these streets. They're everywhere in this neighborhood. I'm not sure exactly what this neighborhood is called. I'll probably find out from somebody. But if you know, if you recognize it, Go ahead and put that in the comment section and I'll pin it up top. It looks like we're approaching the cruise ship from earlier. If you guys can see it over there. Nice little neighborhood. There it goes, another step leading down there. Oh, those bananas look so fresh. I 
I did try a banana this morning and it, it tasted so different from the US. It's, it tasted nice and natural. Yeah. I wonder if I could find somewhere with a coconut. These dogs look friendly. Huh. Ah. Uh, I wouldn't say friendly, but I mean, you just don't know the dog, so you can't. You can't touch him. He's searching for food right now. Let's see, they're probably going to try to sell me some tires over here, too. They're going to try to sell us some tires. like a little park, some swings. I really have to improve on my Spanish because yeah, I will be going to a lot of Hispanic speaking countries. You're pretty decent actually. So, you're pretty decent. At least you can get your message across to a certain extent. But me? A whole different story. Another park right here. See people chilling, having a conversation, having a good time. We we could actually hang out here too. Uh, this area seems very. This I saw earlier. I really love the artwork. Now we got to find some food. We should probably ask somebody where we can get some good food. Let's just die. You guys want to go to Pika for you? <laughs> There's a food place right here. <laughs> I don't know. It's a different one. You want to try that? Alrighty then. There's another place right there. It says food truck. Um, that's a big bus. I wonder where it's going. Yeah. They real comfortable in there. It's real nice. Huh, everybody's hungry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hola. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Trying 
get across. We are just trying to get across. <laughs> All right. So the guys want to try pick up pollo dorado. So I guess this is a local spot. It looks like a chicken spot, so they're gonna check it out. Wait, wait. That's another warning. Man, these trucks are real loud, man. They are loud. Are, are y'all sure we shouldn't have gone over there? I like what. Are y'all sure we shouldn't have gone over there? Y'all want this? You guys had it before, right? Yeah. I want to try it. Yeah, I want it. You guys have to get it. Alright. Okay. Let's do it. We got food over here. Alright. Hola. Hola. Okay. Uh, I, all right. The, I guess that's the menu and the prices. Got chicken and pachurina. I'm guessing that's fish. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> you guys let me know. All right. So, what do we get? All right. I'm gonna grab some food and I'm gonna come back, guys. All right. We've got the food. That's what it looks like. Got some platanos. We got some bone and chicken and some tenders. Yeah, so we want to try them both. No. Oh, cheers. I'm gonna say sugar. Oh, the drink. Oh, this uh, cola real peanut. Um, I'm excited to try this one. It looks refreshing. So. These guys want to drink the same thing they drink at home. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh my gosh. Then don't travel, stay home. Right. <laughs> anyway, we're going to eat some food and I'm going to come back. 